don't have the strength anymore. Help. Leave us be. That's different. What can I tell you about? The local herbs. Townsfolk keep medicinal plants in their homes. Wolf sallow, for instance, has fleshy leaves that draw out disease when applied to a wound. <laughs> My old bones. The eastern wind stirs pestilence in Abigail sells an ointment for boils. Armed as you are, I'd stay clear of the guard. Greetings, handsome traveller. First kind words I've heard around here. I like travellers. One showered me with flowers. Put that away. strength anymore. Stay away from that witch. I'm feeling Abigail. under the weather. I rarely do this. Delightful. I hope we meet again. Well, that hoarding witch has it eye on me. Abigail sells an ointment for boils. My cow needs milking. So tired. My neighbor disturbed my sleep beating his wife again. My cow needs milking. Abigail sells an ointment for boils. My what do you mean? Doesn't the white gull medicine grant relief? My grandson should die painlessly. I'm not completely blind yet.
downpour. What a harlot. All the town's women dress that way. Vizima's a den of debauchery. That's where the beast is. Born of profligacy. Expect a Quite the dangerous one bearing weapons on your back. Your What were you thinking? Oh, I needn't water my garden. Abigail sells an ointment for boils. Abigail sells an ointment for boys. You are a bandit. Oh, that horrid witch has an eye on me. It'll rain a while. Oh, that whoring witch has an eye on me. My grandson... What do you mean? Doesn't the white gull medicine grant relief? My grand... Thanks. This elixir may help my grandson die in peace. Farewell. Wait. The Reverend refused to help, so I stole his ring. Use it well. Of then another I'll go us. All right, tonight. My cow needs milking. Abigail sells an ointment for boils. Stop. Uh, what are you? A witcher. We're militia. We keep the peace. I'll be going. We need to see you're not ill. I'm immune. Don't know what that means. We got a check. What's that? Uh, chip. Well, you, well, you look foul, but healthy. Move along. Godspeed.
We're in for a deluge. Be gone! Devil's breed! Calm yourself, priest. I merely wish to speak with you. There's nothing to speak of. Indeed there is. I seek Salamandra. I heard they come here. They'll kill us because of you. I have ways of showing gratitude. What ways? You're troubled by a beast? Not your business. I'm a witcher. I could help. Another witcher came recently. Berengar. He promised to slay the beast, but fled when it howled. I'm not Berengar. If you want my trust, bear the eternal fire's light to the people and dispel the darkness. You'll find five chapels around the village. Fire won't scare the beast. This is more than a stray dog. The eternal fire, blasphemer. You can be sure it will scare off beasts, for it has been said that though his soul be in darkness and his visage be a horror, do not judge him hastily, for he will carry the flame of hope into the night. And also, you shall only be safe in the glow of the eternal fire. All right, but it will cost you one hundred orans. Very well, but the eternal fire must appear at night in all five chapels. I'm looking for men who wear salamander-shaped pins. That's not wise. Why? Vexing them may shorten your life. Do I look scared? Another witcher came here before you. He too swaggered with audacity. And yet, do you see him? Not likely. He fled. He's not me. Do not sneer at Salamandra. The whole village fears them for a reason. You must convince us all. What can I do? For me, destroy the beast. As for the others, visit Odo, Mikkel, and Haran. Can you solve their problems, too? Are they elders of some sort? Everyone knows and respects them. Odo's rich, Haran a merchant, and Mikkel a city guard. Gain their trust, and you'll win the trust of the village. We'll see. Wait. They need to believe I sent you. Show them this ring of the eternal fire. She's not home and it's late. I witnessed that ghost biting a townswoman's head off. Don't get killed. Many animals died from plague. I wonder how I'll feed my children. No time! I only know old fables. I'd gladly hear them. My grandchildren like stories of the drowned dead, like the jilted miller's daughter who tied a millstone round her neck and plunged into the depths. When someone overcome by passion drowns, they arise as the drowned dead. At night, the miller's daughter persecuted the living till the knights of the flaming rose sent her to eternal rest. The Order of the Flaming Rose eliminates monsters? Its knights protect us and ask no reward. Unfair competition, I'd say. Oh. <laughs> oh I haven't the strength. 
I shudder to think where the stall keeper finds her meat. Treated me that way. Viewed me as a bundle. Children have Reduction. Folks do. Oh. Yesterday, the drowned dead took a. I witnessed that ghost I once lived in the town's woman's head Poverty off. drove me to the fringes. Interesting. Many animals died from plague. I wonder how I'll feed my children. No time. I only know old fables. I'd gladly hear them. This story concerns the beast's minions. A hunter who bred bloodthirsty bloodhounds was murdered. This evil crime elicited a curse that transformed the bloodhounds into revengeful ghosts. These ghosts, called bar guests, persecuted the murderers until they tore them to pieces. Only then did the bar guests depart. Interesting story. Thanks. Oh, no. You a witcher? How did you know? Saw one like you recently and asked the reverend. Never learned his name, but he wished to enter the city. Did they let him into Vizima? I know not. He approached the reverend, perhaps for help. Anything else? Nothing I haven't said. That doesn't help me much. Hmm. This meat looks odd. What's it from? You smelling or buying? Shouldn't answer a question with a question. Where it's from is my business. Customers aren't exactly lining up. Hmm. Tell me more about the other Witcher. I know little. So try to remember what you already told me. He spoke with the Reverend, then took his leave. He seemed fearful. Thanks. Hmm. See ya. A curse, beggars! Oro's brother would have protected us from the beast. I'm a drowneret. Gods must have punished him. Or the witch cursed him. I'm dying of boredom. Curious. Uh, uh. Should I hurry? A curse, beggars. Freak or not, you may many. I only I'd gladly hear them. I know a werewolf story. Years ago, a man from Vizima visited his beloved at night. One full moon, a wolf bit him by merchant's gate. Fur covered the man's skin. He grew wild with rage. Finally, he transformed into a werewolf. He tore his beloved and many militiamen to bits. The mayor hired a witcher who determined the cause was a curse. He removed it but never found the caster. A happy ending, though I would have preferred it explained how to cure lycanthropy. That I don't know. Thanks anyway. Farewell. Ugh, I haven't the strength.
I witnessed that ghost biting a townswoman's head off. I once lived in Vizima, but poverty drove me to the fringes. Interesting. Don't get killed. Met. I only. I'd gladly hear. Have you heard of Fladders? Tell me about them. When criminals and godless die, they arise as fledders or vampires. They burrow from their graves, suck blood from the living. Those bitten also become vampires and further spread the disease. To destroy one, you must drive a wooden stake through its heart and decapitate it. Great story. But if vampires multiplied as you describe, they'd quickly control the world. Smart ass, eh? Damn you. My old bones. What can I get her? Itching to slap this somebody. is Har and Brog's territory. Oh, to Talk drink to him. in the hairy bear. But the city gates are closed. Off with oh, the out those bug eyes. What's your business with this dwarf? We're shaving off his beard. What's it to you? You'd be better off moving along. Love non-humans, do you? Sheathe your weapon and stop waving those arms around if you want to keep them. Ooh, a live one! Game, lads! Kill the deviant! You asked for it. Hi, 
Thanks for getting those hounds off my back. Wait. Geralt! Is it you? Well, I'll be damned. Something wrong? You don't look well. Are you hurt? True to a witcher. Died, came back to life. Nobody's seen him for five years, and he wants to know if something's wrong. Who are you? You drunk. I'm your pal, Zoltan Chiri. Where have you been? Why haven't I heard from you? What about... Not sure I can explain much. Ah, you don't need to tell Zoltan Chiri anything. Let's just say I'm glad to see you, though it would be nice to resolve some matters. You misunderstood. I lost my memory. I only remember the last few weeks. Hmm. Know what, Geralt? Let's have a beer and talk like we used to. Clear your mind and maybe some things will come back to you. You look like something's bothering you. Yes, a nasty matter. My friend was to meet me in this village some time ago, but he never appeared. Think he might be in trouble? I hope not. But I wouldn't be surprised if he were. He joined the squirrels recently and agreed to trade with the hawkers. Squirrels and hawkers? The squirrels, or Scoyatal as they call themselves, are non-humans who hope to gain equality by shooting folk from behind trees. And hawkers are merchants who sell arms to the Scoyatal. Illegally. I see. Geralt, I'm not exactly welcome here. We non-humans get blamed for everything from the plague, through the beast to the warts on the Reverend's arse. I'd look for my friend myself otherwise. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Let you know if I learn anything. Thank you, my friend. So, how are you doing? You know me, my schemes. I hope to start a modest business in Vizima, bringing in goods from Mahakam. The Breckenrigs are pressuring me. The Breckenrigs? Who are they? My future in-laws. I'm to wed Eudora Breckenrig soon, but my father-in-law-to-be puts too much stock in material things. The common cause mine where I worked after the war was a complete failure. I blame it on the bloody times. So, how are you doing? You know me, my schemes. From Mahakam? Any profit in that? I certainly hope so. I made some investments during the war. As they say, money needs to move. Just so long it doesn't run away. Geralt! Can you tell me more about the squirrels? They're non-human little shits who are fed romantic tales. They've taken up arms to fight for freedom and other ideals. During the war with Nilfgaard, Emir used them to wreak havoc in the kingdoms. I don't know who supports them now. I need to go, Zoltan. We'll talk later. <laughs>